My name is Umang Arora. I'm from the Department of Automatic Control and Systems Engineering, doing my MEng in Systems and Control Engineering, and I'm from India. I will be starting a job as a Systems Engineering graduate uh, for the Edison program at GE Aviation Systems in, Chel in Cheltenham. I'm starting roughly in August, um, and I'll be on the Tier 2 work visa. I got lucky because I applied to only 20 jobs, and uh, before I got my first offer, out of the ones that I applied to, I got offers for four of them. They were all engineering jobs. Uh, one was a consultancy, uh, but it was still engineering related, and the other three were for all systems engineering positions. Right down from first year, after I finished first year, I knew that my end goal was to get a job at the end of my degree, and I really worked towards it from the beginning. Um, so at the end of my first year, I did, a, I did two placements back home in India. They were just to get a taste of what work was all about, a 9 to 5 job. Um, then I came here and I became the engineering ambassador for the career services, which was a part-time job which I handled alongside my academics. I started building up my work experience, my CV and my extracurricular activities. That really helped me develop the skills that I needed um, to go ahead and get a summer internship. So last year I interned at BAE Systems in Bristol as a systems engineer and I think that really made a difference when it came to applications yeah. because employers saw that I had a big name on my CV and I had earned it so I think that made a difference and this year alongside my academics I was the um, university manager for Times High Flyers Research they're a London based firm and uh, I was managing surveys for them here at university I've always been interested in sports so I've been playing cricket uh, for the Indian Society um, I've been playing golf as well and uh, I was the International Students Committee Events Officer last year, mm -hmm. so I was in charge of hosting a wide variety of events all across the university. Um, so that was a really, really good opportunity for me to really get to know the international culture here in Sheffield. Um, on top of that, I've, I was the first year course rep um, and I also was a Sheffield mentor in my second year. Right. So okay, these so are the... So sort of really things that busy. I've done. Yeah, I've been I've been really really busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How have you have you found that easy alongside your studies, or has that been quite hard? It has been difficult. I've had to make sacrifices either way. Um, but whenever it came down to choosing between my academics and anything else, I always chose my academics because I couldn't let that slip. Mm. Um, but I did make sure that I spread out time for everything. So when I started applying to jobs, um, a month prior to that, I had already started hunting for companies that I wanted to target. I waited for their openings on websites such as Gradcracker, and I kept a track of which employer was advertising their jobs when and what the deadlines were like. I made a list of those, and I mainly wanted to go for systems engineering jobs because I knew that was my area of strength. And there were a lot of companies that were offering the same position, or the same similar sort of role. Yeah. and. Uh, through my internship, the skills that I had gained sort of helped me uh, really understand what they were asking for. So I was able to really replicate that in my applications back to them. Uh, so that was a strategy. And while applying, I think three really good applications, three to four really good applications a week. I sacrificed lecture time, uh, sacrificed uh, revision time for modules, um, just so that I can focus on getting a perfect application through to them. And what time of year was this that you're doing it? This was starting September, early September until December, till Christmas. It was just purely applications and tests. It was difficult because a lot of companies don't clearly state what they want. Uh, I had to ring a couple of companies up and ask them personally whether they do high international students and some of them did say yes, some of them said no. Um, the ones I surely knew of through the UKBA website um, I applied to and the rest I didn't bother. I think the first thing was really tailoring my CV to the job and the role that in the company um, because a lot of employers really want something tailored to them. Um, they don't like the, the scattergun approach which a lot of employers talk about. Mm. So I think spending a lot of time was a big challenge. I think the other challenge I faced was psychometric tests. Uh, this is something that I had attempted in second and third year, wasn't very successful. Um, and then I really, I was nervous about how to go about them. And my first couple of psychometric tests, I did really badly. But then I practiced a lot and I got a hang of it. And then I was able to overcome it as well.
When I got through to these rounds, there were usually uh, 10 to 20 people at the same time and uh, we were being assessed for usually the same position. The process was very similar, so you had a written exercise, you had um, a presentation, you had a competency-based interview and you had a technical interview. Yep. Um, so they were really testing you on all different grounds. But the thing is with the competency interview, which is very, very highly weighted, they want to see examples of what you are as a person outside your academics. So they always say use examples from different aspects of your university life or your school life or the things you've done. Tell us more about yourself and they really want to get to know who you are within. It is daunting. You have to travel to the company and there's this whole th aura when you walk into their office and you know, you're know you speaking to assessors. But it's just about have, keeping, a, keeping your cool and uh, having a certain etiquette when you, when you present yourself. And the rest should fall into place. Did you use the career service at all for anything while you during your four years? A lot. Um, so like I said, in second year, I was the, the engineering ambassador for the career services and that really opened my eyes as to what the career services has to offer because I was going around, uh, you know, promoting the career services to the engineering department, my friends. Um, and whenever I had an issue, I'd come here straight. Uh, it's like in, in second year when I was the ambassador, I used to organize skills for success sessions. So I learned a lot from them. Recently, in fact, I came a couple of months ago when I had a query about which company I should go for. And they really helped me um, make that decision easier. Did yes. Go to events? Yes, the, yes the, the engineering fair um, was very useful because I had sent applications to these employers and I was through to the first, the second mm -hmm. stages. And then I got a chance to actually go and talk to them one on one and get their tips on what to do next. And I actually made a couple of contacts through. So that was very, very useful as well. Be an all rounder, try and get, just do things um, that interest you. Make time for it. Uh, don't just be a bookworm. Uh, Obviously academics are very, very important. Don't let that slip, mm. but do things that will get you out of your comfort zone. Speak to people, ask questions all the time, and don't be shy yep. um, because you rather have your answers, your, sorry, your questions answered. In terms of job hunting, start early and don't start in your final year because I think that's pushing it a little too late. Try and think of what you want to do. A lot of people have this issue that they can't decide which area they want to go into. Uh, so an internship in your second or your third year or a year placement really help with that. So I think just making applications to companies, learning the process before you actually sit down for your graduate applications is very, very important as well.